been away for two weeks. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Chat and participant windows open. How's the sound? this vocal fry as like a reset exercise if, if at some point during the rehearsal or during your day your voice feels tired or you feel like you've been straining to hit high notes or some other kind of vocal difficulty you can do this exercise and it kind of resets you back to zero because it 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 lowers your larynx and it causes the chords to meet and it's just a great reset exercise nights I just started doing that and a woman in the choir said to me do you study with Ron Combs and Dan Kane and I said yes and she said because they do all the same they do all the same warm-ups and I said yeah I stole them from them and I told them that I stole them from them <laughs> Nay, 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 nay,
towel off. I'm using for this is NG, which I think works better than a hum because it guarantees that the nasopharynx is engaged, <clears throat> which a hum you can sort of do without engaging that. So let's try to use NG. to see all of you logged on. I can only deduce that you have absolutely nothing else going on on Fridays from 10 to 1130. Or that you have found this to be beneficial.
let's do this. Same syllable, same placement, but this exercise. The, the cool part about this and the challenging part is that the we get the chords together and then they have to come apart and go back together. So it's a little bit of a workout for the chords. Mine didn't want to come back together. therapist and you say I'm really insecure I need help that the, tr the treatment is they make you lead singing lessons on zoom in front of 30 people <laughs> and and that's how you get over it Descending head voice things. So the trick with this one is that that where my head voice is is not the same as where yours is. So I'm going to start as low as I can and go up so that hopefully at some point it overlaps with where your head voice is. I'll start here. The point is to be in head voice the whole time. Okay, let's start with a call for peace. This is kind of an easy one in general, but it does have the challenge of having the three lines functioning independently of each other. So it's, it's contrapuntal instead of homophonic. Homophonic is like a hymn. Uh, my country tis of thee, all the parts moving together. Contrapuntal means each part has its own melody and they don't move together. So sometimes they can be tricky because you're not entering at the same time as the other parts. Let me pull up the session here with the individual, oh, individual parts on it. Polyphony just means many sounds. It's usually, it's usually a term that's used to describe like Renaissance music, like Palestrina, where there's different melodies overlapping, but really it just means many sounds. Okay, there's a call for peace. Here it is. Give me a second to get it opened and functioning properly. I'm hoping this will be helpful when you can hear it with the voices on it. I'm always looking for new ways to 
make our online practice sessions go better. Okay, so it starts with part three, which is the tenors and basses. So let me isolate that part and get the sound right here. How's the sound? Is it okay? Okay, here comes again uh, basses and tenors. Let me go back, sorry. Okay, altos, you come in after them, and here's your part. Let me give you two bars, altos. Now. Once again, altos, here it comes. Ready, go. in for a minute and then sopranos your first entrance is this That takes us through the bottom of five sopranos. You have the same thing three times in a row. Let's try putting those three together and then I'll ask you how you're doing. Back at the beginning, but all the parts together and I'll help, I'll help bring you in. Okay, here's the beginning, starting with the part three or the, or the basses and tenors. you how are you doing with the independent lines do you feel like you're able to come in on the right note and hang on to your part even though they're different than the other parts i don't mean to be insulting i know it's i know it, the parts individually are easy but sometimes when we layer them they they suddenly feel like they're not so easy okay to move on or shall i review any of that okay move on. let's move on now we got the out now we're bottom of five with the altos on a new part let me mute the other parts temporarily. Altos, you're going to hear the tail end of what you just sang, and then we're going to go on at measure 39. Thirteen, 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 
altos. It's uh, repetitive, but it's a new figure. Everybody, all the altos okay? Any altos need their part again? And then tenors and basses, you enter the middle of six with the same line that you've been having. So you don't need that again. Top of seven, sopranos, you enter with the same line that you've been having. Okay, so let's review this section, starting with the altos, but I'll put the other parts back in. I've kind of ignored this piece for a few weeks in my rehearsal, so I felt like I needed to not keep doing that. Okay, so I'm going to roll it at about top of five somewhere. I don't know where I am. Sorry. Maybe this is it here. Sorry. Here we go. need any part of this reviewed I know it's easy it's actually quite lovely with the three parts intersecting but it was chosen to be <clears throat> easy on purpose I think to balance out some of the other songs that are more difficult does anybody want any section of that reviewed or can we move on I don't want to assume that we're getting it seems like move on, move on. anima I mean Let me get Anima Amin open here real quick. Um, I tried something different with the rehearsal tracks this time. I download, I went on the internet and tried to find the best performances of each one that I could find, either from the publisher or from some other choir doing the songs. And I downloaded them and lined them up to a click and had myself and the other singers sing on top of that so that I could get a more kind of natural choir sound for the full mix and then still have the option of muting that choir and having the individual voices. Um, on this one, though, Jonathan Miller did not like the Hebrew pronunciation of the choir from the internet. So after I sent him the full mix, he had me mute the internet choir and just use myself and the other singers. It was interesting. Okay, let's start at um, uh, measure 14, bottom of four. Let me get a piano sound up here. Where's my record button? Let's 
There's the no record button. Paul, which one are we doing? Ani Ma Amin. Okay. Uh, so strange. There's no record button that allows me to enable the piano sound. What is that? There we go. We go 14. Uh, let's just try the top two voices on Lululu and then we'll start adding the Hebrew. Here's alto, soprano. This is at 14. Actually, let's try all the voices, see how you do, and then we'll isolate them. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Just on Lululu or la la la. Two, three, four. So in general, this section is homophonic. They, it all moves with the same rhythms. Does that make sense? As opposed to contrapuntal, which is different. Same thing again, lu, 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 or la, 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 back at four, measure 14. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Two, three, and four, and. opportunity for the bass is there to sing a low E. So I think on the uh, website and also on YouTube is a recording that has Jonathan speaking the Hebrew diction. If not, I will double check and make sure I upload it. Also, the, the individual part tracks have the Hebrew pronunciation correct. Let's make sure the parts are correct individually. Basses, can I hear you at 14? Two, three, and... here that I need to hmm. okay. uh, tenors let's hear you two three four La
such a beautiful part. Oh my goodness. Basses and tenors together, please. Here's bass, here's tenor. Just on la 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 for now. We'll deal with the Hebrew in a second. I want to make sure we got the notes solid. Two, three, fourteen. my foot tapping okay altos and sopranos let's try you together please at 14 here's alto here's soprano two three fourteen sorry I went the wrong way two same thing, 14. Altos move. Altos move. Does either part feel like you want to hear your part on its own? Soprano or alto? Alto, alto alone. Here we go. 14, just on lululu or la la la. Two, alto alone. Try this section with the track, and I will isolate the alto, and then we'll start adding the parts back in. How about that? And then by the end of it, we'll have the whole choir. Mute everybody except alto. You see where I am. <laughs> Go back. So you don't have to sing the Hebrew yet unless you're ready to. You can sing Lululu or La La La, but you'll have the voice singing the notes. Here it comes. This is one before 14. Now.
such a beautiful part. Let's add soprano, please. This is back at 14. Bases and tenors alone for a moment, please, and then we'll put them all together. I think that bases and tenors can do it separate uh, together. One before 14, bases and tenors. Here we go. Was asking a question about are we going to retard like the track does in measure 2426 i'm i made this tempo match the the internet recording that i downloaded so it probably won't be exactly like this it'll be at the discretion of your conductor it will have this feeling of not exactly steady tempo there'll be a little bit of push and pull depending upon uh, your conductor, but it won't be identical to this because it will be, uh, you know, live in the moment with your, your conductor conducting. Okay, let's go back to that same spot and put all the parts in, and then we'll talk about what you need. Here's one before 14. At one before 14, here's the bass note, tenor, alto, soprano. That's one before 14. <laughs> I'm not addressing the Hebrew yet is that I find that it's better to get the notes locked in first and then introduce any foreign language. Otherwise, we're trying to deal with the pronunciation of the Hebrew and still learning notes. It just makes it harder in my view. So at some point we will obviously learn the Hebrew properly and some of you are already doing that. And if you're spending time with the rehearsal tracks, you can imitate the this pronunciation that's on the rehearsal tracks. But for now, I'm just focusing on the notes because I know that we're not necessarily getting all the notes. Let's go back to the first place we sing, which is bar six. I'll back it up two measures before six. We'll do this whole section and then we'll talk about what you need. You're going to start with this. So anytime you have a dotted eighth followed by a sixteenth, for example, in the first measure, 
anima amin. We're going to leave a little space after ma. Anima amin. But look at measure uh, eight, which is the second measure top of four. That has a different rhythm on that word, and we don't leave the space there. So in that measure, we say, anima amin. Everything's connected, no space. But each time we come back to that other rhythm, ma amin, we leave a little tiny space. It's, it helps with the, with the Hebrew pronunciation, but it's also a really beautiful emotive sound. Okay, here's two before six, and then we'll talk about what you need help with. So excited about this piece because I think it's exquisitely beautiful, but also the cultural and religious significance and the chance to sing something with a lot of expression in it. We don't we we don't always get that opportunity, and um, uh, what was I gonna, there was one other thing I was going to say about it. Can't remember. I did. There's so many things about it that I like for us as a choir. Okay what sections in these in these opening pages what measures or sections do you need help with the notes oh the other thing i was going to say was it's it's not crazy hard it's it's something we can learn without without pulling our hair out and it still has a, a lot of musical interest sometimes the pieces that we do that are musically interesting are crazy hard and we have to we have to work so hard to get uh, to where we're you know performing it any uh, measures or sections that you feel unsure about? It's so well written that I think the parts are, are easy to learn. Okay, moving on down to the river to pray. Let me get the next song open. Okay, let me hear the basses and tenors right at the beginning. One, two, three. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, brother, let's go down. Let's go down. Down to the river to pray. Just 
that much again. Starting a measure for basses and tenors. So f female tenors, you will have to kind of decide which notes to sing up an octave or leave out or modify. I'm going to play s some of the phrases in octaves. For example, you might have to go as I went down, if you can't sing as I went down, because for some of you that's going to be too low. So you have to kind of figure out the octave jumps. OK, here I'll, I'll play it in octaves for now when it's low. One, two, three. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Turn to pages. Oh, brother, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, brother, let's go down, down to the river to pray, down to the river to pray. Obviously, I was singing the tenor. Hey, bassist, can I hear you please at Let's Go Down? Actually, let's go back one measure. Oh, brother, let's go down. Second measure, top of four bases. Two, three, here we go. Oh, brother, let's go down. Let's go down. Come on down. Oh, brother, let's go down. Down to the river to pray down to the river to pray and because we have such outstanding basses i don't need to do that again tenors let me hear you second measure top of four tenors two three here we go oh brother let's go down let's go down come on down oh brother let's go down down to the river to pray down to the river to pray. Tenors and basses together, second measure, top of four. Oh, brother, two, three, and together. Oh, brother, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, brother, let's go down, down to the river to pray down to the river to pray Isn't that beautiful melody that kind of pentatonic uh early american shaker type of melody okay everybody now last two notes of four going into top of five i'll play all the parts and then we'll break them apart as needed this is starting at oh lord mm, listen to your children praying this might be under tempo but for now we'll do it slow here we go. One, two, three. Mm. that much again and then we'll go on pickups to five one two and a three Seven. 
So starting at 22, something's gonna happen like the world has never known. When the people of the Lord get down to pray, a door's gonna swing open and the walls come a tumbling down. When the people of the Lord get down to pray. Hey, and the other parts move. Let's start at 22, please. Here's bass and tenor. Here's alto. Here's soprano. 22, 2, 1, 2, uh, uh. Good. Let's try this section now. Let's go. Let's go that far with the track, and then we'll talk about what you need help with. I'll back it up to the beginning and put all the voices in. Here it comes. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, brother, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, brother, let's go down, down to the river to pray. Down to the river to pray. Oh God, listen to your children pray. Oh Lord, send your spirit in this place. Oh Lord, listen to your children pray. Send us love, send us power. Send us grace. Something's gonna happen like the world has never known. When the people of the Lord get down to pray, the doors come a swing open and the walls come a tumbling down. When the people Just stop for a minute. Tell me any spots that are sort of tricky for you on your part. We can re we can review notes or rhythms or whatever. Is it helpful to sing with the track to kind of hear the voices and to, to uh, make your part fit in with the other voices? Any tricky spots or shall we just do that much again for a minute? Let's do that. Here comes the beginning again. One, two, three. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown, good Lord, show me the Listen to 
this section starting at um, 30 starting at 30 here's bass and tenor alto soprano two three measure 30 Bases and tenors alone. Back at 30, this is bottom of seven, measure 30, two, three, here we go. Oh, children, let's go down. Just that much again, just bases alone, two, three, 30. Oh, children, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, children, let's go down, de -da -da -de -da -da. to the river to pray, to the river to pray, to the river to pray, to pray. Okay, basses and tenors together at 30. Bottom of seven, two, three, here we go. Can I hear you, please? Two, three, measure thirty. Try altos and sopranos together, measure 30. Here's alto, here's soprano. Two, three, measure 30. Try all the 
parts, please, at 30. Then we'll do it with the track, and then we'll see what you need. Okay, good, Dave. Uh, here we go. 30. Here's bass and tenor, alto, soprano. Two, three, and four, and... Try it with the track now. Let me park at one before thirty. I don't know why I didn't think of using. Oh darn it! Why I didn't think of using the tracks before a couple weeks ago. I'm a little slow sometimes. So you have to bear with me. Okay, here's one before thirty. You're going to hear this. Pray. I am start parking at 29 One thing I love about the um, female singers on the rehearsal tracks is they're both really good at the mix. So when you're listening to them, you're you're hearing like a model of the sound that we're all talk we're always talking about. Okay, let's go back now to 22. I'll park at one before 22. So you'll hear this grace, and then. Mm, Something's gonna happen. Here we go. Something's gonna happen like the world has never known. See where I am? Everybody know where I am? Here's, here it comes again. Something's gonna happen like the world has never known when the people Good, good. So how are we doing on this? Any spots you want to hit? Feel like you're making progress? So fun to see you all uh, concentrating and into it. Okay, moving on. I sing because I'm happy. Wait, can you do uh, 23, measure 23, middle of six? For which part? Uh, soprano. Okay. It's the, the rhythm pattern there. I think yeah, it's a little tricky. I'm not make, not getting it clean. Uh, so here's 22. So oh, 23 and 24 are my problem. Okay, so we'll sing into it from 22. And something's gonna happen like the world has never known. When the people of the Lord get down to pray. So a world has never known do that rhythm again and world has never known 
When the people of the Lord get down to pray. Once again from 22, ready and. Something gonna happen like the world has never known. When the people of the Lord get down to pray. Does that help? Is that enough? You want it again or is that is that enough? Okay, and then somebody else is asking for the alto 36 to 37. Oh, so here's 36 altos. Lord, you're on praying, you're gonna Lord. Altos, here we go at 36. This is bottom of eight. Ready and pray. Lord, five, one is how my brain processes that information. Does that help at all? Okay, moving on to I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm paid to. Just a joke. Just a joke. Does it spoil it that you are paid to do it? Sometimes, absolutely. I'm not talking about with regard to this choir, but there were there were there have been plenty of times where I was on a gig and not particularly enjoying myself for any number of reasons. Sometimes it was the music. Sometimes it was the the boss. Sometimes it was the my my colleagues. Um, it's interesting. Uh, especially with the c singing for for publishers, uh, you know, it's an eight hour day, an eight hour singing day, and you're standing. So it's it's awesome to get paid to sing, but long about hour six of singing middle school music, I mean, it's a job. It's you know, it's still a good job, but. It's not always fun. Sometimes you're like, okay, I, I'm getting paid to be here and to sing and and I need to do a good job, but I'm not exactly having fun at this moment. Or the person next to me is is constantly talking or on their phone or not paying attention and missing their entrance. And so we have to go back and do it again. So we've, now we've sung this phrase 10 times because this guy over here isn't paying attention. I mean, it's just, you know, it's all the normal, it's all the normal, uh, work problems and you know it's a first world problem getting paid to sing so there's a there's an old joke how do you get a how do you get a musician to complain give them a give them a, a gig and they'll find they'll find something to complain about there was a one of the most gifted singers i ever worked with uh she she had a rough home life growing up and she was a little bit crazy she could literally sight read anything, sing anything. She could sing her chest voice up to high C. Or she could mix up to high C. She could sing up to high F and high, high G above, above high C. She would be clipping her fingernails during the session. So like the, you would hear the piano track coming to, we're, we're going to sing in two measures. She's clipping her fingernails until beat four of the previous measure and then singing. And then, you know, when the tape goes back, she's clipping her fingernails. One time she brought a watermelon to the session and during a break, she cut it into slices. And I looked over at one point and we were singing and she had a fork with a big chunk of watermelon on it. And between takes, she would be, take a bite out of it. She brought like food and a knife and fork and was and the rest of us are just like, what is going on? But she was so good that she just kept getting hired because she had such a beautiful sound and was such a good. Anyway, I got lots, lots of, lots of funny stories. So sometimes it was a job, and sometimes it was a pleasure. Does that make sense? Uh, I sing because I'm happy. Let's see how we do here. I'm gonna play it with the track, and then we'll stop and go back as needed. Let me. Let me see what have I got here.
I sing because I'm happy. And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. Just that much again. So this is information that's going to come back later in the song. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. How are we doing on that section so far? You feel like you're getting it? There's some kind of interesting syncopations. I I think a song like this sometimes is easier to learn uh, from the recording, just to imitate uh, rhythms and syncopations. If you're somebody that can read and figure all figure all the syncopations out, that's great. But sometimes if something's super syncopated, it's easier just to imitate it and not try to do all the math. You feeling okay on the first two pages? Okay, so I'm going to roll it into measure 21. We'll do it all together and then we'll break it apart. So I'm going to start right at uh, 19. Here it comes. I sing. Oh, yes, I sing. Let's go back and do the bass and tenor, please. This is at 21. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three. Can I hear you please at for his eye, whatever measure that is. Pages won't turn. Pickups to 29 bases. This is bottom of five. For his eye. One, two. For his eye is on the Tenors at the same spot. 
for his eye. Pick up to 29 tenors and a one, two. For his eye, his own, the sparrow. And I know he watches me. Bass and tenor together at 29. Here's bass, here's tenor. Pick up to 29. A one, two. Altos at pickups to 29, please. Sorry for the page turn noise in the microphone, it's right by the camera. Altos at pickups to 29. Oh, one, two. For his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Some of you altos may choose to sing the middle note there. He watches me. Altos again. In fact, let's do the bottom three parts. So bass, tenor, alto. Pickups to 29. Oh, one, two, Sopranos, can I hear you, please? Actually, let's do all the parts. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. This is pickups to 29. And a one, two. Okay, now let's go back with the track at 21. So for those of you that aren't super familiar with reading music, the section from 21 to uh, 36 has repeat marks around it. So we sing 21 through 36, and then we go back and we sing 21 again. But then the second time where that little bracket with a one is at measure 35 we jump to the second ending they're this they're the same vocally but the second time we go on to the section that starts at 39 so for now we're starting at 21 let me back it up here's two measures before that See where I am? So I'm starting right at the top of uh, page five on the left edge there. Here we go.
now let's go back to the beginning and then we'll stop and talk about what you need. This is not. Here we go. Beginning. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I want this song at my funeral. By the way, there will be fines if you are caught not moving some part of your body during this song. There will be fines of a nickel. I'm kidding. The fine will actually be a dollar. Uh, okay. Um, how are you feeling on this one? Do you feel like you're getting your the notes and rhythms on these first few pages? If it were me, I would find the the practice tracks most helpful to get the feel. Um, that feels like a good stopping place to me. Let me uh, stop the recording. <laughs>